Okay, so this is how I screwed up my one two setup by uh, upgrading to 18.04. Um, so where am I coming? I'm pick, what am I covering here? Um, I say it's a botch do release upgrade, and I say sort of for a specific reason. Um, so I'll, I'll explain that as I go. And then uh, why can't I SSH in? <laughs> um, and then figure out why my network config vanished. Um, and then finding out about that plan, um, learning that we're going to get the That's a unique recall. Um, finally getting my, my system back up and running, lessons learned, and uh, what to do if you hate that plan. Um, I hated it at first, it's growing on me, and then we'll hold the Q&A. Alright, so I've been running Ubuntu uh, server 1804 since it was pre-alpha in October 2017. Um, I upgraded it from 1604. I never rebooted it. It's plugged into a UPS, it's headless. Never had the need to. Um, I mean, my server's been running great. I built it in 2014. 8 terabytes of storage, 16 gigs of RAM, blah, 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 blah. Um, it's my file server, it's my Plex server, and when I'm doing experiments with code, whether it be Python, PHP, Bash, whatever, that's my box. Um, it suits my closet, it's headless. So, I'm at work in last month, and this is a message to my wife. You mind if I reboot the server? Sure. Well, I rebooted it, and about five minutes later I got that. <laughs> <clears throat> so I text her back and I'm like, I rebooted it. I don't know if it came back up. I'll check when I get home. She's like, okay, I've just been cleaning anyway. So was this you breaking the internet? Is that why you asked if it was okay? Well, no, it, okay, it would have killed our file server and it did. So just, just file server? File server and Plex. But a four year old kill yeah. off Plex that kills off half of our kids' shows. That's true. What is Plex? It's a uh, media streaming server. Um, and it's got clients for just about everything. So like my smart TV has a Plex client, my uh, um, uh, Xbox has one, my Fire TV stick has one. So basically, anywhere in the house, I can stream off this server. And I've got probably about three terabytes worth of video, half of which is for games. <coughs> So, why can't I SSH in? This is a standard error message if the host on the other end is down. <laughs> um, so, I get home and I pull the box out of the closet and I plug it in my KVM, I fire it up, and I'm trying to figure out why my network config has vanished. Well, it hasn't. Everything's parts as it should be up until 18.04 in Etsy network interfaces. That's where all your interface information is. At zero, here's the IP address, here's your, here's your default gateway, here's your subnet mask, here's your DNS servers. It's all, and it's all still there. So that hasn't changed. Web test framework. <laughs> <laughs> So I still have the Googles, <laughs> and I don't know how many people read XKCD at all, but this is one of my favorites. What is it's XKCD? It's, it's a web comic, and he usually draws all his characters in the stick figure. It's mm hilarious. -hmm. It's hilarious. It's, it's very, it's very smart. Accurate. Okay. Yeah. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, it's brand new. XKCD. Four letters. Always do. Dot And, um. This is basically. So I was kind of just hovering around here. <laughs> and, uh, I've been doing it a lot longer than half an hour. I was actually working on this for close to three and a half hours before I figured out what was going on and 
and how to fix this thing. So I found out that introduced with 17.10 uh, is a new network configuration tool called NetFlight. <coughs> I would have known this had to reboot it in the last seven months. <laughs> I do got a little Linux uptime though, uh, even for a pre-alpha operating system. So NetPlan replaces if up down. Uh, if up down is what uses Etsy network interfaces. Um, and that plan essentially renders that file useless. Um, that plan actually uses an entire directory uh, called that's a net plan, um, and it looks for YAML files. For those that don't know what YAML is, it's yet another markup language. I hate it when it's starting to grow on me. And I'll go, I'll go through why I hate it. I think it has more to do with that plan than the language. Uh, the file naming conventions are similar to the old school Linux scripts. Uh, O1 basics in it.yaml would be executed first. It's basically, they're basically executed in numerical order. So to execute one first, 15 x and 99, if you threw a 10 in there, it would come right after the one, et cetera, et cetera. Um, there's essentially only two commands that you need to know. Um, NetPlan generate, uh, it creates a uh, 50 net config file.yaml with just a basic configuration uh, that you can go in, change, modify it, and fix up. And then uh, NetPlan apply, uh, it goes through and reads everything in that directory and executes it. Um, also on boot, the equivalent of a NetPlan apply as well. Um, <laughs> so, why I hate YAML? Uh, its error recording is absolute pants. Now, again, this might be um, NetPlan and not YAML itself. It probably is NetPlan. Either way, it sucks. Um, you can see the, the very detailed error message that I got. Error in I like that it's called Net 99 Net YAML. Well, I, I just made it, I just made a config file and put in something that I knew was wrong. Just get it to spit out an error message. Yeah, really descriptive, guys. Thank you. Oh, okay. So you put it in that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So similar to the office space scene, and I was cussing up a storm probably just as much. Um, fortunately, once once you start rolling into the meat of this. Uh, general DHCP is actually pretty easy. Um, in your standard laptop desktop setup, not yours because you have something else going on. Actually, this, uh, this net one and this uh, one generator of point, this is exactly what somebody was considering for the thing. I think uh, I will have the same shoes. So, um, you can, again, you can name it anything as long as it starts with a number and ends in YAML. Yes, yes, this is what um, they said. So this is all you need to do to get it to boot and go to DHCP for a wire connection. And, and they did the, the, the lines, the net one generate net one, net one apply it after these three lines. And you didn't work. Well, there, there's another setting that you can put in here to do all the stuff manually, and I'll get to that in just a second. Um, but this makes network manager manage all devices, um, configures DHCP once it realizes there's a error. My config, on the other hand, <laughs> I have five network interfaces in my server. Four of them are on one board. So F0, F1, F2, and F3 are all on the same Intel NIC. It's a quad port gigabit NIC. And then NP3S0 is my on board. So I wanted to give that one a separate IP, and I wanted to bond these. So essentially, I just tell all four of these, no, I don't want DHCP on IPv4 or IPv6. And then I go through and create a bond and bond all these interfaces together. <coughs> you notice the, the mode is commented out. That was one of the issues that I had. And again, I think that's NetPlan and not YAML. According to NetPlan's documentation, I should be able to set that mode. And I can't. 
So, more source of annoyance. Um, I don't want it set up for DHCP v4, but I do want it set up for v6. So you notice v6 has a new dimension, so it just pulls the address. Um, assign the addresses, assign the gateway, um, and assign the name servers, and when I did the net plan apply, it came up, and all of a sudden I was able to surf the net on it again. And this was my final output. Um, notice uh, low, and then my, my bond, and then my four nicks, and my one nick. So lessons learned from all of this, um, <laughs> reboot occasionally, especially if you're running free office software. <laughs> but don't do it remotely. <laughs> um, now again, I'm not sure if it's NetPlan itself or it's the implementation of YAML. Uh, it could be both. Um, I don't like it currently. It was like work YAML. It's not that bad. So I'm going to say probably NetPlan. It's NetPlan. I'm going to vote. Okay. I'll, I'll, I will continue to keep trying. Sagan uses No. Okay. I don't think that's good. That could be the next project. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, was pretty, pretty good. Yeah. And the same with Nets. <laughs> and um, NetPlan is more horrible. It just takes some getting used to. So is NetPlan the new default for Yes. It's, it's starting 1804. Um, now, you can do something if you absolutely hate NetPlan. Uh, if I had done, if I had known this was an option, I wouldn't be doing this talk right now. Uh, app to install if up down. Sure enough, you get your old stuff back. Um, however, if you do this in a production environment where you, know, you might get hit by a bus and another admin has to come in, um, then you've basically just done something custom and they're not going to know what the hell you did. So, it's kind of a downer if, for, for your replacement. But then again, maybe you want it to be. So, <laughs> up to you. Documentation. Can you talk about job security? Yes. If you're dead, but if you're dead, do you really care about job security? I, I, I don't care about the next guy working on my stuff either. No, no, no. Well, I love the direction for my wealth. That's okay. <laughs> So, sorry it's so short. I actually finished the slides last night, but any questions? Yeah, if you do the two minute install, install the. Uh, wait, this name is the. If up down. <laughs> does that uninstall that plan? Yes. Yeah. Oh, they're mutually exclusive. Yeah, you can't actually. And that plan is in this bag. So, 